Hi, this is Sarah McLeod, your host for Proven Cures, and if you're one of um, the many people who is currently taking something like Xanax, Librium, Valium, Ativan, any um, number of anti-anxiolytics to treat anxiety, then you may want to stay tuned for the rest of this video. Um, today I'm actually going to discuss a tested and proven treatment for um, anxiety and stress disorder um, called ashwagandha. It was actually tested back in 2012 and the study was published in the Indian Journal of Psychological Medicine um, July of 2012. Uh, the title of the study is A Prospective, Randomized, Double-Blind, Placebo-Controlled Study of Safety and Efficacy of a High-Concentration, Full-Spectrum Extract of Ashwagandha Root in Reducing Stress and Anxiety in Adults. Now, that's a very long title, but what it basically means is that this study tested 64 adults who uh, were found to uh, have chronic stress that exhibited on lab tests um, in the form of having high blood cortisol levels. And half of the test group uh, were given uh, ashwagandha root and the other half were given a placebo. A placebo is usually um, something like a sugar pill, something that does not have a therapeutic effect on whatever condition is being tested. Um, it says that it was a randomized, double-blind uh, study. So what that means is that subjects were just randomly chosen, maybe by um, an automated system, uh, as to which group they would be assigned to. And at, at, during the execution of the study, neither the patient nor the uh, study doctors or anybody on the study knew what the patients were getting. So there could be no uh, preconceived idea of what may be working versus what may not be working. Everything was blinded um, in order to preserve the integrity of the study results. So the study was conducted over a period of 60 days and during the 60 days the subjects who were given the the experimental subjects who were actually given the ashwagandha root were given 300 milligrams twice per day so they'd be given one capsule of ashwagandha root which was 300 milligrams probably in the morning and then again in the evening and at the end of the 60 days they were um their cortisol levels would, would be tested again along with the responses to stress assessment uh, questionnaires and it was found that the group that did receive the ashwagandha did exhi exhibit significant decrease in anxiety. So um, that's the gist of the entire study there. I gave you the title and where it was published so you can actually look it up for yourself. And you, um, if you're interested in stopping pharmaceutical um, anti-anxiety drugs or possibly weaning off of them and uh, want to try ashwagandha, you can always take this information to your physician and maybe start the protocol for yourself. Um, I hope you found this helpful. I also did another video, I think sometime last month, on a study also addressing um, anxiety. And it's actually a study on sound therapy. And the, uh, the title of the song that was found to actually reduce blood pressure in people suffering from panic attacks was called Weightless by a group named Marconi something or other. I'm going to make sure to add the title to that uh video here so you can click on it you know and, and check it out for yourself um but that is a more of a temporary uh fix a temporary treatment for if you're having a sudden panic attack and if you happen to have headphones or access to speakers you can you know listen to that song at the time and if your blood pressure is high you're going to find that it's going to decrease down to the um beats per minute of the song which i believe uh the ultimate stress reducer was 50 beats per minute. So your heart rate which will come down to that 50 beats per minute of the song. Which was actually uh, pretty remarkable. And I also in that video shared a list of other songs that had that same effect. Um, but if you want something more um, systemic, meaning it, it will go through your entire body and affect other factors besides just your blood pressure. And it will also 
work in the long term, um, just like if you are taking um, Xanax or something like that, then you might want to go the, the ashwagandha route. This is more for people who've been suffering from anxiety on a chronic level, maybe a long term level, and it, it's um, crippling your life, as opposed to having um, isolated moments or isolated feelings of panic, okay? Um, so I hope you found this uh, useful. Please like, share, subscribe to Proven Cures. If you subscribe, please hit the notification bell so that you would uh, actually get notifications of future videos. And leave comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.